What I got this time is the Hyper Tough three gallon air compressor kit. Hyper Tough has the easy to read gauges, large regulator knob, quick connect coupler, suction cup foot mounts, and these parts here, flip up handle, oil free pump, and easy to read gauges. And, and uh, also got these uh, chrome caps, slime chrome caps, fits Schrader valve, TPSM safe, and of course, putting those on, um, ITW Global Tire Repair 125 Ventura Drive Suite 210, San Luis Obispo, California. 93401 USA, www.slime.com. Made in China, of course, because as everything, nothing is made in the United States. So we're going to open this box up with the three gallon air compressor kit, 100 maximum PSI, working pressure, um, 0 0.7 cubic feet per meter at 40 PSI, 0 0.5 cubic feet per meter at 90. 90 PSI meters, I guess. And uh, these caps are going to go on these tires because there's no Alstom caps on these on the Ford Escape. So we're going to put these on this. But first, we're going to get this air compressor working and box it and get it working. And uh, hype the tough. Working pressure 100 maximum PSI, 0.7. Cubic feet per meter, 40, 40 PSI, and third horsepower DC power, 1.7 amps, 16.4 pounds. Product dimensions 18 by 18.4 width by 7.4 inch diameter, 13.1 inch height. Of course, in centimeters, 46.7 centimeters, 18.8 centimeters by 32.9 centimeters. And this includes the air compressor. 25 foot coil hose, quick connect plug, sealant tape, tip adapter, inflation needle, plastic inflation nozzle, and a tire chuck. And this is probably also made in China because nothing gets made in the United States. And uh, yep, made in China. But they're upside down, made in China. Hyper tough. Um, paid about 60 or 70 dollars for this thing at Walmart. So let's get this unboxed and open it up. So you get it unboxed. We're going to pull out. Here's the uh, owner's manual. Got it in Spanish as well. Manual kit. Product number 010313A. And safety guidelines, parts diagram, parts description, operating instructions, for maintenance, troubleshooting, technical specifications, exploded view, parts list, and warranty. So, let's get this thing pulled out. Get these other tools out of the way. Bobber. Okay, so let's get this pull, pulled out. Is it pulled out? There's the box over there. These are these. Jiggles. There's the hose. My fingers are already cold because it's still cold here. <laughs> and the reason why I got this is because the tire pressure on the tires was low. Probably right? because it's been so cold, the tire pressure went down. So, and I just, I'm just getting tired of paying $2 every time you want to use the air machine at the gas station. Things are going to get quarters. So, got this. And hopefully, you won't need to. Keep going to the gas station. That's the plan. There's a plug-in. So let's learn how to set this up. And this is the on-off on-off controller, I suppose. This is the gauges and the valves. Tool compatibility chart. And there's uh, warning labels. Hyper tough. Okay, so let's get this thing set up and get it functioning. We got the cable unwound, on off switch here. I guess this is like the turn the compressor on. 
Jeez, we got it plugged in. Let's see what happens here. The non switch. Whoa, it Got the air hose connected to the quick connector. And so the air hose is connected to the unit. And it's a 15 foot hose. So I'm going to put it down on the ground so I can reach it. Reach the tires. Put it off the cord. And now to hook up a tire thingy to connect with it. And now I'm going to open up this packet of parts and do this to connect to the air hose. Now we connect this thingy onto over here. Okay, so I got about 35 to 37 pounds a square inch for the tires. Inflation, this one's 37, 35, and these two are 36. So 35 to 37. I can't get it exact right, but that's about as close as I can get to it. And uh, so the tire pushes back up. So now I can put these uh, stem caps, chrome caps on the tires. Chrome caps. Chrome caps. So let's put them on the tires. Oh, nice and pretty. Better than those black plastic caps. On street? It's on street. I think. Is it on street? I don't know. It doesn't look like it's on street.
There we go. And this one. Get on now. You're doing nice and tight. Which replaces these plastic caps. Okay, so I think this thing works pretty good. It takes a little bit of time to get the pressure to build up on it. Wish it was a little faster. But it's better than going to that machine and spending $2 on the hunt for quarters to get to it. So, recommend it? Yeah, I guess I, I can recommend it. Wish, just wish it was a little faster.